the very next day, who should show up but the mayor himself? Uh, as I believe we can all see here, uh, the town's reserves are down a good 25% due to the fact that our bank is robbed, on average, every other week. <laughs> Pizza roll? <laughs> it was horrible, just horrible. And it was so real, like it was really happening. <laughs> oh, that sounds dreadful. At any rate, as I was saying about our bank... <laughs> but, but what did it mean? Uh, is there anyone in Dodgeball City who can interpret dreams? Uh, begging the mayor's pardon, but uh, I know someone who might be able to, uh, help. Mm -hmm. My baker tells me you can interpret dreams. No, I can't, sir. What? I can't interpret your dreams, but God can. He'll give me the answer you're looking for. Right. Well, he better, or I'll put you back in that jail and you'll never get out. Let's get started. Uh, earlier today, I had the strangest dream. Seven cows sat on a hill, so big and fat, I got my grill. I was thinking about a barbecue. Then seven scrawny ones came along and gulped the big fat cow. And then I dreamt I was in front of a large group of people in my underwear. What's that about? So come on, start interpreting. Well, it's really quite simple. The seven fat cows mean seven years of plenty are a-coming. More food than you can imagine. And the seven skinny cows mean seven years of terrible famine. Famine so bad, the good years will be all but forgotten. If this is true, what do we do? Well, during the good years, you should store away as much food as possible to give back to the people during the seven bad years. And Dodgeball City will be saved. Of course, you'll need someone with great organizational abilities to make sure it all works. Archie, what's the state of your sock drawer? Ah, uh, a little disorganized, I'm afraid. That's what I thought. Cucumber, you're in charge. Excuse me? Well, what are you doing standing around here? You've got a city to save!